sweet friends welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Ashley and today I have some laundry motivation for you I'm starting off with my older two boys clothes so I'm going to go ahead and throw all of Jacob and Jeremiah's laundry in the washer and get everything washed and clean and then once they are done washing I will transfer everything into the dryer and get it dried um, the laundry products I'm going to be using in today's video is the downy scented beads, it's the downy light scented beads, and the ocean mist scent, as well as method laundry detergent and method fabric softener and the ginger mango scent. Those are my absolute favorite products. I love using them for our laundry. And then I'm also going to be using some Lysol sanitizer on our towels. And then anytime I ever wash our bedding, I use it as well with our bedding. Or if we're ever sick, I will throw it in with our clothes. But now since the boys' clothes are done washing I'm just transferring everything into the dryer getting everything dried and then the second load I'm going to be focusing on is Madison's clothes her load is definitely an easy load for me to do all I'm going to do is throw her clothes in the washer get them all washed and clean and then when I'm taking out her clothes to throw them in the dryer I will pull a few pieces out to hang dry because she doesn't like me to dry everything so I will add all of that um, into the kids bathroom we have an extra shower rod in there and I'll let all that hang dry and then everything else I'll throw in the dryer once it's done drying I will take it out of the dryer throw it in the basket and then place that basket in her room for her to fold and put away because she puts all of her laundry away for me and it's amazing it definitely saves me so much time when it comes to laundry because she does that for me. She wants to learn how to wash and everything as well. I just haven't gotten around to teaching her how to use the washer and dryer. I know she'll catch on quick, but it's just something that I don't mind doing. So um, I just haven't got around to teaching her how to do that. Maybe over the summer I'll teach her so that way she can start washing and um, drying her own clothes as well. But now I'm just taking the boys clothes out of the dryer because they are done drying and once I'm done doing that I will throw all of Madison's clothes into the dryer and if there's anything in that load that needs to be um, hung up to dry I'll take those pieces out and hang them up to dry in the kids bathroom and then that's all I was able to accomplish on day one this did take me multiple days to do all of our laundry but that's okay sometimes that just happens and you just got to go with it so this did take me I believe four days to get all of our laundry done and it's okay I'm not going to stress about it so if you have some laundry that you need to get done today I really hope Hope today's video gives you some motivation to get up and get some laundry done or maybe you don't have any laundry that you need to get done but you have some cleaning that you would like to check off your to-do list I hope today's video gives you the motivation you need to get up and get that to-do list um, all checked off as well so the items that I'm throwing over the dryer door, those are the items that I'm going to hang dry for her in the kids' bathroom and let them air dry. Um, and what I'll do once they are done air drying, I usually throw them back in the dryer and just kind of freshen them up a little bit. If you've ever hung up jeans or anything like that to air dry, you know what I'm talking about. They're just like rough filling or stiff, you know. So I don't always show that in my videos, but that is what I do. I just throw everything back in the dryer and kind of just freshen it up and then I will put it in her room for her to put away later. But now I'm on day two and the load I'm going to start off with on day two is mine and Nick's clothes. I'm going to go ahead and throw all of our clothes in the washer, get them all washed and clean, transfer everything into the dryer and get everything dried, take everything out of the dryer and place it in the laundry basket. And I'm just going to let that laundry basket sit overnight because this is all I was able to accomplish on day two was um, washing and drying mine and Nick's clothes. You will see me always um, hang up shirts over the dryer door when I'm throwing everything in or uh, when I'm taking 
taking everything out of the dryer, putting everything in the laundry basket, I will pull out our, our shirts and hang them over the dryer door and then place all of our shirts on top of the laundry basket. That's so those shirts do not get wrinkly if I do not get around to folding and putting away everything, which is usually what happens. So on day three, I will start off by folding and putting away all of our clothes. I will start off with mine and Nick's clothes and then I will also fold and put away all of Jacob and Jeremiah's laundry as well from day one. And then um, the load I will start washing on day three is a load of towels. That's the first load I will throw in the washer and get all of them washed and clean. Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar. Another glass and I am going places, makes me laugh above the irony of everything. I like the way you think and I don't really care about the music on the dance floor.
So now I'm finishing up folding all of Jacob and Jeremiah's clothes and hanging their shirts up on some hangers. So I'm going to go ahead and just put away all of their clothes. Once I'm done doing all of that, I'm going to head into the laundry room and go ahead and put the towels in the dryer because they are done washing. So I'm going to go ahead and throw all of the towels, like I said, in the washer, get them all dried. And then the final load that I will be washing will be a load of Ryder's clothes. So while the towels are drying, I'm going to go ahead and put all of Ryder's clothes in the um, washer, get them all washed and clean. Once the towels are done, I will take them out, leave them in the laundry basket overnight, and then I will put all of Ryder's clothes into the dryer and let them dry overnight. And then on day four, the final day of laundry motivation, I will be folding all of the towels, putting them away, folding all of Ryder's clothes, and putting them away as well. You say you're tired, you don't want to fight, but I've been wondering if everything's all right. You say you love me, and that's all fine But it's like I'm missing the passion in your eyes Am I right?
So now I'm just going to finish folding all of Jacob and Jeremiah's clothes and then put everything back in the laundry basket, put the laundry basket in their room and they will put away all of their clothes. And then I will head back into the master bedroom and show you Ryder's clothes in the laundry basket. And then I'm going to fold them really fast and I will show you them all folded and I'll put away his clothes as well. But that's going to be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed hanging out with me and I hope I was able to give you some motivation to get some laundry done or some cleaning done, whatever it might've been on your to-do list that you needed to get checked off. I hope I gave you all the motivation you needed to get up and get it done. If I did, please let me know by liking this video it really does help my channel out also don't forget to leave a comment down below I love chatting getting to know each and every one of you and definitely come back for some more laundry motivation and cleaning motivation and as always thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to hang out with me it truly does mean the world I hope you guys all have an amazing day and I'll catch you in the next one bye friends every time we touch our feet.